Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you five of my least favorite fragrances in my collection. It's not like I hate these, um, but I definitely have my struggles with them and one of them I, I hate. I don't know why I have it here. <laughs> why? Why do I have it here? Anyway, uh, we're going to talk about that today, but if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird, wonderful family. It would be awesome to have you part of the community. We are amazing and let's actually talk about these. The majority of these I think share similar dislikes for me. So uh, I think that I'm, I, I'm discovering who I am regarding perfume, especially as of late, uh, because these aren't doing it for me. That said, I still really enjoy them. I don't really want to get rid of them because even though I don't like them, they're really great fragrances. So, you know, I want to be able to share them with you. So what I decided to do was rank these from my least, least favorite, <laughs> so the one I like the best, to the one I like the least. So number five on my least favorite fragrances in my collection is Dolce & Gabbana's The Only One Intense. This is a beautiful fragrance. It's, it's, it disgusts me that this is on my list, but I have to include it. I have to be honest. It's killing me that it's on my list, but it is. So I am so in love with the opening of this fragrance. It, it's one of the best smells of life. Like seriously, the opening is so fantastic that if it was just the opening, this would probably make one of my favorite fragrances. But then it goes into this woody dry down that just bores the heck out of me. I don't love uh, the dry down of this fragrance. It just breaks my heart. I can't, I can't get rid of this because I love it too much to get rid of it. I, if nothing else, to just go and just enjoy the fragrance that comes out of this nozzle if nothing else for that, because it brings me pleasure. I can't get rid of it. I've thought about getting rid of it, but I just love it too much. Now the opening of this has neroli, apple, and mandarin. I definitely get that apple. Uh, not really much neroli, but I get the apple and the orange. The middle notes are jasmine, coconut, and orange blossom. The base is vanilla, cashmere, wood, and cedar. So I don't know, I don't quite understand. What it smells like off the cap is a boozy coconut, is what I get. It's so delectable, it's so delicious. I get a little hint of that cedar. It smells phenomenal, like phenomenal. But then that dry down, maybe it's actually the vanilla that's boring me. It's lots of people's amazing favorite. Like I've worn it several times, I had a sample. Loved it so much that I bought it, but then I really have struggled with enjoying it in the dry down. So it's the least of my least favorites, so yeah. Anyway, moving on. Number four of the least favorite fragrances of my collection. This is painful. It's By the Fireplace by Maison Margiela. It's an absolute stunner. I, I love smelling this. I love it. It smells so delicious. I, I, my husband wore it one day. It was the first time he'd ever put on fragrance in his life and I convinced him to put this on. I could have sniffed him forever. Like I really love the way this smells. Uh, my son has worn it, smells great on him, so I really enjoy smelling it on others, but it's just not really my personality. It gives me a whole entire experience, like a wood-burning fireplace, roasting marshmallows, you get a bit of nuttiness from the chestnuts. It's chestnuts roasting on an open fire, marshmallows roasting, and then, you know, get a bit of char on there and you stick it in your mouth. That's what this smells like. You get the smell of burning wood, but it doesn't smell uh, off-putting. It just gives a depth and a coziness to this. And then like, it's primarily, again, a vanilla fragrance. So the opening of this is clove, pink pepper, and orange blossom. The middle note is chestnut, guyac wood, and juniper. And the base is vanilla, peru balsam, and cashmeran. So uh, it's a beautiful fragrance. The longevity, about six hours on this one. I can't bear to part with it because it's too beautiful. So it, it's another one. I just enjoy sniffing it, at, if nothing else, just to sniff. Um, but it's just, it doesn't really suit me. A beautiful fragrance, just not going to be one that's I'm pulling out all the time. But I can't get rid of it. So thus, one of my least favorite. 
We're moving up the scale. This one's worse than the other two by far. Uh, and it's Stella Beautiful Fragrance. And it is Serge Le Ton Un Bois Vani. Uh, this fragrance is beautiful. It's a beautiful kind of slightly boozy vanilla. There's a waxy quality in this, plus it's got the woods. So it's it's a beautiful, smooth, uh, interesting vanilla, but it's definitely more vanilla centric than any of the other ones. So this has vanilla, coconut milk, beeswax, black licorice, sandalwood, tonka bean, bitter almond, benzoin, guyac wood, and musk. It's a long lasting fragrance, like you're gonna get like eight hours out of this one. It's a decadent, beautiful, vanilla that's got a little bit more uh, to it than just straight up vanilla because you're getting those woods. It's a beautiful fragrance. I like having it because every once in a while I want that hit of vanilla. Uh, so I'll reach for this like in the winter time. But overall, I find vanilla fr centric fragrances, especially super vanilla, make me feel a little bit sick to my stomach. So I have to be careful when I wear this one. Same thing with By the Fireplace, honestly. Um, I love the smells of these, uh, but just can't wear them too much. Otherwise they make me feel sick. So Serge Lutoin, Un Bois Vigny, definitely uh, near the bottom of the list. Number two of my least favorite fragrances in my collection is Comptoir Sud Pacifique Coco Figue. Now this is actually a really nice coconut fragrance. It smells beachy, like when I smell it, I, I wanna go, <sighs> that's how it makes you feel when you smell it off the cap. The issue that I have with all Comptoir Sud Pacifique fragrances is that they smell quite synthetic or they'll go metallic on me somehow. And this one is no exception. So it starts with coconut, fig, and vanilla in the opening. Uh, so there's a little hint of green with that fig, uh, a little bit of sweetness. It seriously smells so good. The middle notes are coconut, milk, wheat, and sugar. And then the base is coconut, milk, fig, and vanilla again. So this one, it's kind of uncomplicated. You're getting the coconut, you're getting the vanilla, you're getting a little bit of the fig, smells a bit mouthwatering. The biggest issue I have with this one, uh, like I really do enjoy the smell, it goes a little bit metallic on me. I could still put up with that, but the longevity is really, really poor, like about two hours is what I find with these Comptoir fragrances. So it's a nice enough fragrance, but I just don't reach for it very much because it dies off so fast. So for that reason, definitely in the bottom. I think I've worn this once, but now that I'm smelling it, <laughs> I think I'm gonna wear it again soon. Uh, cause yeah, for whatever reason I'm enjoying, I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm sniffing, but it's one of those ones where I'll go to smell it. You know, do I want to wear this today? Nah, because the longevity is so poor and I've got other fragrances where the longevity is poor, but I want to smell like that for a couple of hours. Whereas this one just, it just doesn't make the cut for me. So yeah, it's definitely one of the least favorite. Now the least favorite one of my collection uh, actually was a total no-brainer. The other ones were kind of hard to choose, but this one is a no-brainer. I, I haven't gotten rid of it, but I really don't enjoy wearing it. I wore it recently and it just kind of clinched the deal that it's the least favorite in my collection and it's Rihanna's Reb Le Fleur. Now this fragrance, for all intents and purposes, I should love it. It has all the kind of notes that I would typically go for. So it has peach, plum, and red berries in the opening. Middle notes are coconut, tuberose, hibiscus, and vi violet. And then the base is vanilla, patchouli, musk, and amber. Um, it just does nothing for me. So it, I do get that sexy quality. Uh, it smells quite nice, but it just doesn't move me from the finish to the end. So. Uh, I think I need to just give this one away. Um, I thought, oh yeah, I could wear it for a date night fragrance, but just because something smells a little bit sexy doesn't mean I want to smell like that kind of sexy. Like it just, it, it, it's just kind of, I've got so many other fragrances that uh, really excite me and give, put me in a mood and they give me confidence or whatever. This is just nice. That's the most that I can say about it. I know some people find this super uber sexy. I know that it was like so hyped up on YouTube. Uh, I've talked about it in the past. The other thing that I absolutely despise is this bottle. 
So first of all, this gold cheap cap, like it, it, it looks so cheap. Uh, like this bottle, this bottle is, is just plain, but it doesn't look cheap. Like it, it just looks like a nice little bottle. The mistake that these uh, developers make is when they want to make it too fancy looking and they put all sorts of crazy shenanigans on it like this that are just tacky and cheap looking. So the cap is cheap. The bottle is uncomfortable, like it's hard to hold to even spray. Like it's super awkward because you can't hold it down here. It's too big. Uh, and then here it feels so thin, but bulbous at the bottom. Like seriously, the bottle design on this is horrible. Uh, I know some people even like it. It always has reminded me of, uh, of some sort of weird Eiffel Tower look, but what is it supposed to be is the stiletto of a heel. That makes me like it just a tiny bit more. Like I can just imagine it being like the, the heel of a shoe, but I just hate it. The best thing that you could do is use this as a weapon. It would work really well. Um, no matter how you want to hold it, it would work, you know, to, you know, protect yourself if you needed to. But the scent inside is just mediocre. The longevity on me, it's okay. Like I think I get about six hours out of it but I don't love it enough to even want it to last that long on my skin. So I, I this is another one that I can't seem to get rid of because I keep on hoping that I'll smell what everyone else smells that loves this so much. But uh, yeah, definitely it's the very least favorite fragrance I have in my collection. I don't even like it. I should just probably give it away or sell it, but it's here for now. Anyway, that is it. What are your least favorites? Do you love some of these? If so, tell people in the comments so they don't take my word for it. Uh, we are all so different. And so if I hated one that you love, don't get upset. We all, all, all of us, all of us perceive fragrances differently. So those are my takes. Overall, I actually, out of the five, I really do like four of them. Uh, but yeah, like, just because I like them doesn't mean that they're my favorite in my collection, right? And doesn't mean I want to wear them very often. That is it. I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.